Hi, my name is Martin Moss. I work in Silicon Valley for Texas Instruments. And what I'm gonna be showing you today is a 24 watt LED driver circuitry. Um, this can be found in many different types of applications today. You can find it in automotive, in headlights, rear lights, large infotainment systems, and also interior lighting. But it also can be found in industrial type applications as well. So this design was um, designed for three volts to 18 volts. Um, there's, two, there's two configurations. There's a boost configuration, which goes up to 24 volt, and a booster battery configuration, which goes to 12 volts. So we designed this to be as high efficiency as possible. Up to 94% is attainable. The input uh, dimming range is from zero to, to one amp. And we've also added some protection circuitry for open circuit conditions. It will offer a very bright, intense solution, um, but it will also offer a very low cost bill of material solution. And we've tuned this to be as competitive as possible. So we chose the LM3481 because it had a wide V-in range, particularly on the high side because of conditions like uh, low dump conditions. And also on the low side as well, it can work down to three volts. This is very competitive in the market and useful for start-stop type applications. Also, it's very configurable. And you'll see that from the circuit designs that I'll be showing later on. So the first version is a boost version. In this condition, you have a 12 volt in as a nominal voltage and a 24 volt out one amp solution. The current is fed back via an R sense to an operational amplifier and then back to the 3481. So once again, this will offer high efficiency and a very smooth linear range of dimming. The second configuration is where in the conditions where you may have a 12 volt V out and you may want the voltage to go above and below that voltage. In these conditions, you, you have to feed back from the R sense through the LEDs and back to the input of, of the battery. There is one disadvantage with this and is slightly less efficiency at the light end power range of the design, but everything else is high efficient, small solution size and low bin of materials. So let me show you the reference design today. Over here, we have three bits of equipment. We have a pulse width modulator, a power supply, and an oscilloscope. Down here, we have the reference design using the LM3481 and a mock-up of a rear light with a whole bunch of LEDs underneath it. You can see them illuminated. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually increase and decrease the intensity of the light. What you should be able to see on the oscilloscope is the V-out voltage up here maintaining, and the current will increase and decrease linearly based on the output power of the LEDs. So it's nice and clean. So the second application that we've designed this evaluation board for is for open circuit. This is a real world condition that these boards have to be designed for. And one, one great example of application for that is the automobile. The automobile has to withstand a lot of vibration. And under vibration, an LED can go open circuit. This can be quite catastrophic for the power supply. So you have to design the power supply to withstand these types of conditions. Let me show you how that's done. So by pulling this lead out here, the LED ray will go dark. You can see that the current goes down to zero and the voltage is maintained correctly and doesn't go into fault condition. Then I reconnect the LEDs again. You see that the, the, the voltage is still maintained and the current comes back nice and clean. So there you have it, the 24 watt LED driver circuitry. For more information about this design, you can visit ti.com. Thank you for watching.